Hello friends, this is Bhushan Dhut. Uh, I am faculty at an IKRA IS Institute. So we have also started a CSAT batch on IKRA IS uh, online platform. It's a module of approximately 50 lectures, approximately 100 plus our module, okay, in which we cover complete CSAT and that will probably help you to clear the uh, UPSC CSC examination. So we'll start with an example. A man takes half time rowing a certain distance downstream than upstream. Okay. And what the ratio of or the speed in the still water to the speed of the current. Okay. So what is its ratio of the speed in the still water to the water to the speed of the current? Okay. Huh. So what is the time? Time is nothing but just an opposite to the speed okay so the question is related with the speed always remember that speed is inversely proportional to the time okay so speed is inversely proportional to the time so what is an concept of upstream and what is an concept concept of downstream so this is suppose this is the stream okay and this is a person who is rowing okay so person who is rowing Suppose u is the speed of a person who is rowing and v is the speed of stream. So here what will happen? The both stream will be add. If the, the person is flowing with the stream, okay, the speed will be what? His relative speed will be what? u plus v. And if the person is rowing opposite to the stream, so what will happen? This force of the stream will oppose to the speed of that fan. So in the second case, so speed of the first case, this is known as, so first case known as downstream, down the stream, this is the upstream. So speed of the second case is known as upstream, is known as the downstream, okay. The speed of the upstream is nothing but what? U minus V, okay. The speed of the upstream is what? Nothing but what? U minus V. So what he has given, a man takes half time rowing the distance downstream. So the concept is about the, the time. Which, uh, information is about the time but the question is related with the speed so you must know that if you double your speed your time reduced to the half correct now so the same way the information given is what the time what he is going to say time of the downstream and that as to we'll if we take the ratio and the time of the upstream if this ratio is what time to the downstream to the time to the upstream he said that this is the half of this upstream so this will go here so the ratio between the time of them is what 1 as to 2 so 1 as to 2 is the ratio of their time time of the downstream and the time of the upstream correct now so now the speed is inverse of this time the speed is inverse of the time so that's why the speed of the downstream the ratio of the speed of the downstream to the speed of the upstream will become Reverse of this, inverse of this, so that is a 2 as to 1. Okay, the speed becomes the what? 2 as to 1. Correct now. So, speed of the downstream and speed of the upstream, if I take their ratio, it will be what? 2 by 1. It will be what? 2 by 1 because this is the ratio. Huh? So, u plus v upon the u minus v, it is 2 by 1. So, u minus v will, be go, he will go here. So, that means what? u plus v, that equals to what? 2 times of the u minus v u plus v is equal to what? 2 times of the u minus v. And if you calculate that 2u minus 2v, the u plus v is equal to what? 2u minus twice of v. Okay. Huh. So now this u will go here and this v will come here. Correct? Huh? So how will happen? So minus 2 becomes a plus 2. Uh, minus 2v becomes a plus 2v. So v plus 2v is what? Thrice of v. And 2u minus u is what? That is only u. So 1u is equal to what? Thrice of v. So what is the ratio? So u is what? It's a speed of that man rowing in a steel water and v is what? Speed of the stream. So what is the ratio of the speed in a steel water to the speed of the current? Okay. So v is what? Speed of the current? Okay. So u by v is what? If you can either ajayga, so what will happen? u minus v is equal to what? 3 by 1. Correct? Na? So your answer is what? 3 as to 1. Correct? So this is the concept. Okay. So I have explanation lete ho, kapi time laga isko, but aapko yaha pe kyu? Kyuki aapko pura basic concept dena tha. Correct na? Aapne yehi se start karna. Aapko yehi se start karna hai aapko solve karne ke liye. So 
फाइव मिनट्स इतना नहीं लगना चाहिए आप लोगों को हार्डली आपका एक या दो मिनट में हो जाना चाहिए ठीक है नेक्स्ट हाउ मेनी डिफरेंट फाइव लेटर वर्ड्स विद और विदाउट मीनिंग कैन बी कंस्ट्रक्टेड यूजिंग ऑल द लेटर्स ऑफ दर्ड दिल्ली सो दैट ईच वर्ड हैज टू स्टार्ट विद डी एंड एंड विथ आई ओके सो वी हैव टू फाइव लेटर वी हैव टू अरेंज फाइव लेटर वर्ड ओके एंड इट शुड बी स्टार्ट विद डी एंड एंड विथ द आई This is an example of permutations. Okay, this is example of permutation. Usually, students solve with some different methods and all, but there is nothing to do with this. Okay, as there is mentioned that it starts with the D and ends with the I, so D and I will be the constant. Okay, so now we have only three words here. How many words we have? Three words, and we have to arrange that because it's also a five-letter word. So three words will be arranged in how many ways? So this position, you have the three choices. For this position, if you have taken any one of these. You had two choices. If you have taken any one of this this position, you have one choices. So three multiplied by two multiplied by one that equal to what? क्या आएगा आपका? Six आएगा. Okay. So that is what six. Okay. यहाँ आपको directly लिख सकते हैं कि तीन position है, तीनों को arrange करना है. So you will arrange them in a three factorial ways. Or three factorial मतलब ही क्या होता है? That is nothing but what only six. Okay. तो ये क्या होता है? Six होता है. Okay. So friends, ये कुछ examples थे. ऐसे ही अगर आपको स्टडी करना होगा सम बेसिक कंसेप्ट्स के वे से एग्जाम्पल को अंडरस्टैंड करना होगा सो यू कैन ज्वाइन माय बैच एट एन इकरा आई एस इंस्टीट्यूट दैट इज यूपीएससी सी सैट बैच